Hey, what's going on guys? Today, I'm explaining how I use the iPod Touch 4th generation for an entire day. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to drop a like. And as well, be sure to hit the big red subscribe button. It really helps. Okay, let's get right into the video. First up, we got the display. The screen size was tiny on this thing. I had to get used to it fast, which I thought I would fail it. The screen size is only 3.5 inches, and I definitely wasn't used to it. And I'm pretty sure no one is used to it nowadays. And since it's so small, the keyboard is also really small and hard to type on. And all the buttons are also really small on it too. Next up, we got the recent iOS version. The latest version on the iPod Touch 4th generation right now is 6.1.6. .6. So basically, I cannot load up any more apps for games on it anymore since it's so old. And I can't even download any more apps for games since it's so old. I can't even get my Apple ID onto it. It got lots boring on the other hand since I found out that you can watch YouTube on the Safari app. It was mainly the only thing that I could load up because since the Safari app was so old, I could not load up any other website. I tried to load up Spotify to play some music and since it was so old, I could not load up the website. Last but not least, we got the battery life. It did pretty okay for the most part. Towards the end, the battery started to degrade fastly, and being on Safari a lot and watching YouTube took up a big part of it. And since the device is really old, the battery is also really old. I can say that my iPhone battery is way better than this, but overall, the device still works. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, bye.